Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will travel to Morocco on February 23 and are expected to carry out royal engagements for two days. Their visit comes almost four decades after Queen Elizabeth had a tour from hell in the North African country. It is believed Meghan will be around 30-32 weeks pregnant when she travels. Despite not revealing her due date she has previously told fans she is due to give birth between late April and the beginning of May. People have taken to Twitter to voice their concern over the Duchess's visit. One wrote, why is Meghan Markle traveling to Morocco right before the royal baby's birth? Another user wrote, surely she shouldn't be flying, it doesn't feel safe. While a third said, she is doing too much. Most other expectant mums would be off work by now. According to NHS guidelines, Meghan will be safe to fly as the majority of airlines allow expectant mothers to travel up until the 37-week mark. Details of the visit are yet to be released, but the trip is likely to see Meghan and Harry meet the king, the country's prime minister Saad Eddin al Othmani, and visit major tourist attractions. In 1980 the Queen, then 53, visited Morocco during the reign of King Hassan II as part of her two-week-long tour of Italy and North Africa. Royal biographer Robert Hardman has previously claimed the king was overly cautious following two attempted assassinations. This resulted in various last-minute changes. At one point the Queen is reported to have been left alone sitting in the sun for most of the afternoon by the King. Several other engagements did also not go to plan and were cancelled. However, despite the disastrous tour, Her Majesty is believed to have been fond of King Hassan and wrote him a thank you letter. Kensington Palace said in a short statement, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will visit Morocco from Saturday 23 February to Monday 25 February 2019. This visit is at the request of Her Majesty's government. Full details of the visit will be announced in due course.